So in a recent video when I was testing a large language model, I mentioned the shunting yard algorithm and I asked would anybody be interested in that. Got some feedback that people would be interested in. So this is the first of two videos uh, culminating in looking at the shunting yard algorithm. But first, we need to look at reverse Polish notation or postfix notation. And that's what we're looking at today in this video. So we're all used to infix notation. In fact, we don't even call it infix notation. It's just how we do maths. One plus two. And the point is the plus is in the middle. It's between the one and the two. And it tells me that I want to add uh, two to uh, to the number one. And we, we use that all the time in, in every area of, you know, any simple mathematics, complex mathematics, that's what we use. Now, there are some problems with infix notation, some oddities. And we learn about these when we're at school. The first is parentheses. I'm going to call them brackets. Technically not the same thing, but that's just how I am. So one plus two in brackets multiplied by three, where you calculate the one plus two first, it gives you three. Three times three is nine. If you do one plus brackets two times three, close brackets, then you work out the two times three first. That gives you six and you add one to it gives you seven. So by putting in the parentheses, we change the answer. Now, if you're writing computer software that needs to solve an expression that's been typed in, so you type in that, you know, one plus two with brackets multiplied by three, okay, then it's gonna be different depending on where the brackets are and the software needs to take into account those brackets. And the other thing that's important is the order of operators. So not all of those math symbols are the same. So plus, uh, is different to multiply. So if you have this one plus two times three, if you kind of did that left to right, you would think it was one plus two gives you three, multiplied by three gives you nine. It's not. The actual answer is seven because you multiply the two and the three together first, because that's the order that it's been defined. Multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction, and then you add the one, so the answer is seven. So again, if you just kind of wrote a piece of software that just parsed this from the left to the right, going along, adding things as it went along, it would go wrong because it doesn't take into account the order of operators. Now, reverse Polish notation, it's called that because there is a thing called Polish notation, which was invented by a Polish mathematician about 100 years ago, 95 years ago, something like that. Uh, and uh, reverse is the opposite of it. And in, and in reverse Polish notation or postfix notation, the, the operator is expressed after the operands, that's the number. So one plus two becomes one, two, plus. Okay? And one plus two times three, well, remembering now the orders of the operators, that actually becomes two, three times one plus. And then if you put the brackets in, one plus two times three, that becomes one, two plus three, and then a multiply. So what's interesting about this is that uh, there are no uh, parentheses. So the beauty of POSIX, there is no need for brackets. There is no order of operators. You just evaluate it left to right. In fact, using a stack, more about that uh, in a moment. And it makes it much easier for software to evaluate the expression. So no parentheses and no order of operators. So that's really, really easy. You just literally go from left to right, or as I said, on a stack, which we'll look at in a second, and you just evaluate it as it is. So let's do a practical example of that. Let's say I've got one, two plus, that's our postfix expression, which would be the same as one plus two. So the first thing you do is you push one onto the stack. Then you push two onto the stack. So you're just going left to right here. And then finally, you hit the plus operator, so you add the top two numbers on the stack. So when you see a plus, you know there are two parts to a plus, something plus something. So you take the top two operators, and that gives you three. You put it on the stack, but in this case, that's the end of our expression. So we're done. So the answer is three. Okay, let's take two, three times one plus. So that would be the same as one plus two times three. Uh, in normal infix notation. So you start with a two, you push that on the stack, then you've got a three, you push that on the stack, then you hit the multiply sign. So you multiply the top two numbers on the stack. Two times three gives us six. So six is now on the stack. You then push one onto the stack. You hit the plus symbol. So that adds the top two numbers on the stack. Six plus one 
gives you seven. So that's your answer, seven. Now this is really easy to implement. Here is a segment of some Python code that I've written, and I'll talk more about this in a moment. It's available on my GitHub repository. But basically you can use a list inside of, um, inside of Python, and you can add pen things to the list and pop them off the list. That's the same as putting things on the stack and taking them off the stack. And then literally you just say, if it's a number, push it onto the stack. If it's an operator, so plus, minus, whatever, then do the right thing with the last two things on the stack and put the result on the stack. Really easy to implement in Python, in C, in Rust, in Go, in whatever you're using, because it's a very, very simple uh, algorithm. So as I said, you can get that particular Python script, if you want to have a look at it, in my GitHub repository. There's going to be other ones in there when we go to talk about the shunting yard algorithm. But right now, you get that uh, eval postfix.python. Okay, demo time. Let's show you it running. Okay, so here we are on the command line, and we're just going to run that uh, eval postfix uh, Python script, very simple, and we need to type in a postfix expression. At this point, we need to put a space in between each one. If it doesn't do any fancy kind of trying to work out what's what and things. So let's just do one space, two space plus. It will use the space as a delimiter. Okay, and it goes through, and there is the example. So push one to the stack, the stack's now got one. It push two onto the stack, the stack has got one followed by a two. Then add and push the result of one plus two gives you three onto the stack. Uh, end of end of uh, expression completely solved. Let's try another one. So let's do um, two, three times one plus. Okay, so what does it do? Pushes two onto the stack. Then it pushes three onto the stack. We've got two and three. Multiply and push the result onto the stack. Two times three is six. Push one onto the stack. So you've got six and one. Add the two together. Six plus one is seven. 7 on the stack, end of the expression, 7 is the answer. So there you go. So there is a very simple Python program that uh, handles postfix. No need for brackets. No need to worry about the order of operators. It all just uh, goes left to right. Pretty simple, that Python code there. Okay, so that's it. So in the next video, I'm going to look at how you convert from infix to postfix using the shunting yard algorithm. That's where it comes in. And then once we've got it in postfix, well, we can already uh, evaluate that and get the answer because we've just done that. So that would be really easy. So I'll implement the shunting yard algorithm in Python and then combine it with the postfix evaluation that we've covered here in this video. And the result will be a simple text calculator. You type in an expression with brackets, plus, minus, divide, whatever you want, and it will work it out for you and give you the right answer. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget there is that next part coming out. So I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.